Hello, it's Philip Taylor from Richmond Green Chambers speaking, and I'm looking at a book uh, today from the Legal Action Group. It's Asbos by Amir Silkind, um, and we've given it the title Fair and Civilised, the first text to examine court practice and procedure from the standpoint of the defence. Now, what um, Mayor has done is she's given it the title A Practitioner's Guide to Defending Antisocial Behaviour Orders. And that's exactly what it aims to do. We've got a Flickr review. And what we say is this. ASBOs, that's the Antisocial Behaviour Order, are a key, government, a key element of the government's social policy. And the forward obviously gives some indication in this book of the um, scholarly legal text that we need to have to go with the sort of work we do when we're defending these types of case. Obviously, with a change of government possibly in 2010, the issue of ASBOs will be very much to the fore. The book itself, uh, from uh, Miss uh, Sickend, is um, set out in the normal way. It's got reference numbers at the side. Then towards the back, you've got the appendices with the relevant legislation and a good index right at the back. Um, originally, around about 2003, I think, the ASBOs sounded like a good idea. They were designed to address the real and vexing problems of uh, the distress created by certain types of behaviour. Now, Garden Court Chambers barrister, uh, Mayor Sickend, has written um, for, again, for the admirable legal action group, um, a guide in one of the series that they have, which we surmise uh, will be become um, you know obviously something of, of extreme use but again of importance as the law will be reviewed again this year. Um, Asbos in many people's views often uh, used too frequently to deal with certain types of conduct that might be dealt with in another way and obviously there are uh, flaws to the current um, system. Um, obviously, there are human rights issues as well, but um, the difficulty of the phrases um, dealing with disturbed or dysfunctional behaviour as opposed to serious and threatening behaviour, and that really is where the, the difficulties are, and one that one might be looking at if you're defending. Um, the author deals with the problems in our view very rationally, and she cites the question of what should be considered before an ASBO is applied for, and of course that must be in the minds of those um, granting any form of order of this nature. Um, as a legal text, of course, ASBOs uh, are unique, um, being covered in this book, because it's the first one to look specifically at human rights law from the standpoint of the practitioner who's defending. And it's very much a stable publication for LAG, and uh, we, we indebted to them. Um, not only does it tackle the issues, but it deals with the procedural safeguards and the admission, uh, the admissibility of hearsay and much more. Um, not to mention, as Edward Fitzgerald Queen's Counsel says, the special problems of juveniles subject to ASBOs with the attendant wrong sort of publicity. And of course that's been the difficulty. And Fitzgerald comes up with a number of, of important points. Um, it's a masterful and, in our view, easily accessible guide um, to a complex and fraught subject. Um, certainly it's authoritative as a, a reference uh, material, and of course very useful to both criminal and housing practitioners. Um, it will be interesting to see the effect of this fair and civilised procedural sanction with the new 2010 government, when there's bound to be a criminal justice bill, so we'll need a new revised edition, Mayor, I expect. Thank you very much to her and to the Legal Action Group. Bye-bye.